And here we are, day three. I'm really marathoning this stuff here. I was kind of skeptical that this might happen, the whole Aurora. Which kind of means I'm stuck here. But believe it or not, I did anticipate that. See, I can't get past there unless I want to, like, risk injuries, but... I will in an emergency, but... So, here I am. This is all my supplies I collected, in case I didn't show you in the last video. A ton of wood, all that water, tea, more tea, coffee, food, fuel, just a little bit of everything, really. Day three with the Aurora. Wolves are even more dangerous. Beware. Survive at least two real-time hours to make progress. So, to be honest, this probably won't be that exciting. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna sit here for two hours, like literally. Um, yeah. So, this this last part will probably just be like um, it'll probably be one big video that summarizes everything. But hey, with the Aurora going on, I could like... I think I could go outside that exit door, the one that you have to have power to, and I think I could go back in that way too. Might be interesting just to try it out. We'll eat a delicious, nutritious candy bar. So yeah, with all this electrical stuff going on, I have to navigate very carefully. I wonder if the elevator works. I'll have to check that out too. Oh, I dropped my torch. That's nice. No, 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 get off the damn rope. Uh. What do you think day four is supposed to be? Oh, well, it says emergency exit only, so... That means I'll have to come back up the other way, and I'm not doing that. I don't want to cross the wires. So glad I explored this in the last video. Yeah, we can't even get across this stuff. So I know that sounds really bad, but... I don't have to do anything because I, I prepared so well. Maybe I prepared too well. Come on now, it's loading up everything.
No, the elevator does not work. I guess it only works in story mode. Which is kind of, you know, sad. You, I wish it would work in regular mode. So yeah, basically, this is how I'm going to spend day three. I'm going to spend two hours in my little base that I've built. I think I've got everything that I should have. I'm not going to record the whole thing because I'm literally going to stand right here and eat, drink, and sleep for two hours. So, sorry about that, but um, I'll just edit a lot of these together. Alrighty then, so I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, it's me. Uh, no face cam, and I'll kind of explain that here in a minute, but um, this is uh, day four. Very uneventful. Nothing really amazing happens. But, um, I'm a little bit disappointed because I did complete the two-hour survival, but I didn't get the badge. I don't really understand why. I thought maybe there was a lack, or like a delay in time. So I waited until, right now it is November the 1st, it's the day after, and I still didn't receive the badge. I don't know if there was something else I was supposed to have done. I mean, in the description there it says... Don't stray too far from your fire or else. Maybe I was supposed to have kept a fire running. I, I really don't know if that's the case, then um, it was very vague. So I, I really don't know. But I know I definitely invested the time into this game. And I didn't get the reward for it, which means I probably won't be doing this again next year. Perfect. So anyways, thanks for sticking with me through thick and thin. And uh, I will see you in the next video.